All right, everybody, in a new book titled The End of the Zodiac Mystery, forensic document handler Michael Wachschel takes us through the exhaustive processes needed to be virtually certain that Earl Van Best Jr. was, in fact, the Zodiac Killer. Michael Wachschel, originally from Western New York, is our special guest this morning to talk about his new book and his findings. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. And welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> you have family at home and you're visiting this week, right? Exactly. That's fantastic. Listen, this book is absolutely, um, it, it's, it's just, it, it's just such interest, interesting reading because you wrote a book based on this book that Gary L. Stewart wrote, hoping to find out that this man, Earl Best, was not his father. And it was your findings that pretty much said, you know, if you look at the handwriting, which is what you're an expert in, it does look like he's the guy. Right. He found out that, his, that Earl Van Best was his father. He was trying to show that he wasn't really this monster. Mm -hmm. So when did you get called in to, to, to help with this, with your expertise? In October 2012, I received a call from Susan Mustafa, who is the co-author. Mm -hmm. She explained what she was looking for. I was exceedingly suspect uh, of the topic because mm -hmm. so many other people had made similar claims. I told her I would look at it and I, I did. Now there were a lot of handwriting samples to look at because this Earl Van Best sent a lot of information to newspapers. There was a lot of his handwriting that, that you could you know, take uh, examples from. Well actually what was sent was the Zodiac sent, True. sent True. Man, we look many, at it that way, yeah. many documents to the, me to the media and to law enforcement. I had four documents from Mr. Best th to look at and do the comparison. So you had to look at and see if the stuff sent by the Zodiac and the stuff sent by uh, Earl Van Best was indeed the s from the same handwriting? Yes. Yeah. And you decided that? Well, it, it, my ultimate opinion was there was virtual certainty that they were, yet the interesting part was that two other document examiners had turned down the opportunity to work on the case. One said there was not enough evidence. I looked at it from a different angle. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe, Michael, you can tell us what we're looking at here and what you're looking at to determine if this came from the one person's hand. Certainly. What we're looking at, uh, Mr. Best had been married three times. What we're looking at here is, there is on the upper left it says marriage to player. That was his, his uh, first wife. Then it says from Press Enterprise envelope. Press, the, the Riverside Press en Enterprise was sent a letter by a killer. Mm -hmm. We didn't know who. That was back in 1967. Then there's uh, the Joseph Bates letter, which is another letter that was sent based on that same killing to the father of the victim. On the left hand side what we're looking at is from the three marriage certificates it says uh, marriage to Edith Koss who is his third wife mm -hmm. uh, and then player who, who was the first wife and what I did is I compared the two the, the way the lowercase e was made to what we know was done on that press enterprise envelope. I wanted to find out how well did they comport with each other. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, I took using Adobe Photoshop, I overlaid them on top of each other, and they comport very well. We're on the right where it says angle, mm -hmm. I'm looking at, as a document examiner, we don't just look at the, the visual, we also measure angles, we measure space between letters where there is uh, heights and, and uh, so what I want to find out is how closely do the, the angles comport with each other and they comport very well. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Do you find, I mean, what do you normally do, Mike, when you're a not asked to, to try to, you know, um, work on something that's, that's so amazing and, and then, and this guy's got so much to lose, I mean, if, if this man is indeed does look like it's his father. What do you do normally when you're not on, on these kinds of crazy cases? Well, I, I get a lot of probate cases where it's unfortunately family members fighting each other over a will. Uh, I, have, I get contract cases. I have a case that it's a question whether a PDF document has been altered. Oh. So, so we get all document examiners get a lot of different type of documents. We get handwritten, we get computer generated and Interesting. Right. It's, it must be very interesting work. And you work for Q9 Consulting. Right. Yeah. Now, what was Gary's, what was Gary Stewart's reaction when you pretty much, 
you know, he's hoping this guy isn't his father, who may be the Zodiac Killer. What was his reaction when you said virtually think this is the guy? Well, I, I, m most of my interactions have been with Susan. Okay. Susan told me they were both just shocked. And some, one other aspect that really shocked them was the, the uh, I, I took a mug shot that Gary had had of his father that was, he was, when he was arrested in San Francisco and overlaid it with the police sketch of, of, of an eyewitness of the Zodiac and they were perfect. Oh my. Yeah. Oh perfect my. match. I mean, it's, it's scary. Yeah, that's a tough thing to swallow, that my father might be the Zodiac Killer. I mean, think about it. So what's next for you? You've written this great book. It's such an interesting read. What do you do now? I work on other cases. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I mean, I, will you, you think you have another book in you? Or does, does it depend on the, on the information and the cases that you're given? It depends on the cases I'm given. I, I may come out with another book. I, I, don't, I don't know the answer to that. Because there's new, new evidence surfacing, Gary's book has caused a lot of uh, interest, revised interest in the Zodiac. And new evidence has come up that this is not necessarily a settled Interesting. case, and we'll we'll see where the dust dust falls. Yeah, and that is so interesting. And, and I'm my, I intend to look at the new evidence, find out where does that take us. Michael, would you suggest that people read the most dangerous animal of all before they get to your book, The End of the Zodiac Mystery? Uh, they go hand in hand. They do go hand they, in hand. Yes, because the end of the uh, the most dangerous animal of all describes Gary's, it's, it's really, a, it's a memoir, true crime, takes Ga from Gary's birth mm -hmm. to the end of when he was looking for who is my father, yeah. my birth father. And my piece is a, a small piece of that talking about how that I did the handwriting. He, there are several examples of the exhibits I put together, yet my book walks people through how did I go about doing yes. step by step. A and it is fascinating. The, the examination. It's amazing. It's in such an interesting science. And Michael Wachschild, you got to read the book because the book is just absolutely fascinating. And that book, is, I'm assuming, is available everywhere. Yes. Amazon.com, Amazon. It's available as an e-book from, from Amazon, Kobo, and Barnes & Noble. Mm -hmm. It's also now available, uh, at least on Amazon, as a paperback. Well, my goodness. Listen, have a great week union with your folks and right. thank you for spending time with us today and everybody you want a fascinating read for the summer the end of the zodiac mystery really compelling thank you so much thank you linda i appreciate the opportunity